Welcome to my channel and welcome to Minecraft room. It is not officially done yet. We still need to put walls up, I still need to put curtains up, and I still need to actually build a table and a shelving unit for my crafts. But today's craft is very simple, only requires a few tools, and I can do it on my makeshift table. What are we doing today? We are turning this styrofoam cone into this clay gnome. So if you want to know how to make this, stay tuned. All right, guys, let me show you everything you are going to need to make this air dry clay cone gnome. You're going to need a four inch styrofoam cone. You're going to need a rolling pin. You're going to need some tools. These came from the Dollar Tree. This was to make, uh, to design fondant and you're going to need your air dry Sculpey clay. So let me get this all this opened up and this all situated and we will get started. All right, one most important thing is, is when you take your air dry clay out of its package, put it into a Ziploc bag right away because this will dry really super fast. So pull yourself out a piece. You can also re-wet this for a little while. Pull yourself out a piece and unlike air, um, unlike bake clay, this stuff does not need a lot of conditioning. It just, because it's going to get hard really fast. So what you're going to do is roll this out fairly thin, okay? And they got me something in my clay. go. So fairly thin because you want it all to dry at the same time. And then what you're going to do is you're going to lay it on your cone and it's and if you get if you roll out a big enough piece it will go all the way around your cone. It does not matter. So what you're going to do is you're going to form it and you want to have a little bit of extra on top because you're going to make his his hat and his little ball, his little ball all at the same time. Let's pull out some a little bit more clay. Sorry about all the shaking and the noise. Make yourself a little ball. And it is so dry here, I probably should go get some water. I am going to get some water, so let me pause this. Alright, got the water. So, also, I have been working with baked clay, so my hands are super dry because that just sucks the moisture out of your hands too. So what you do is you attach your ball, your, your pom-pom, as much as you possibly can to your curl. Because the bigger your attachment, the less likely it is to come off. bit more water. Remember water is the key to this. Curl it down until you like the position of it. And again more attachment the better. But I like the way that that looks rather than this. But again, I'm going to moisten this. Next, you're going to want to finish your cone gnome.
inside the front, which I think I'm going to be here. And now, roll yourself out a nice long log. where the top of your hat is going to be. It doesn't matter that it doesn't make it all the way around. We'll cut another piece. So we set him upright. Grab myself another piece. To smooth it down on the outside press it down or you can leave it as a roll but leaving it as a roll it has more of a chance of moving so I tend to press it kind of flat you can go really flat it, it's up to you Just remember, keep your finger wet so that your clay doesn't dry out. And remember, air dry clay, so you gotta take care of it as you're going along. As you see parts that need to be addressed. Make it kind of rough so that it'll it, it has something to grab so now before it gets before any of it gets hard do a little bit of designing because your clay will not dry smooth add texture to it So that people don't notice that it's not perfect or you don't notice that it's not perfect and if you put a lot of them as you're working and some of them get smushed and disappear you don't notice them. So now we're going to put his nose on. A tool and scratch it all up. Add some water in there and scratch up where his nose is going to go. And add some water and stick his nose on there. Next is his beard and I do it in two different ways. You can do straight beards with thicker, I'll show you. You can do a thicker can do a thicker beard and just do them straight down like this and then you trim the bottom or you can do 
and get a little bit more water. You can do a thinner beard and make them kind of curly. Just remember, you have to have water as your glue. So cut this off. You can make them as thin or as thick as you want. All right, so next is to put little dots on his pom pom. to try to help it attach a little bit better. Try to prevent cracks because that means that they'll just grow. Especially on the very top. Let him dry and we'll be back and I'll show you the final product and then you can also paint it once he's dry. Well hey guys he is all dry and he is ready to go. While he was drying I made three more. I've got two more to make and then I'm going to take them to my local craft fair. Mother's Day is coming up. I'll bet that fathers will come walking through with their kids and they'll see this and say hey wouldn't this be cool to get and paint and give to mom for Mother's Day? Woohoo! Yeah. I'm also making some and I'm going to store some away for Christmas. Yeah, I know. Christmas is kind of far away. But I had 30 of these last year. All of them unpainted at a three-day craft show. And they lasted one day. I had people coming on the second and third day going, hey, my friend bought a couple of those and I'd love to get some. I didn't have any. I took special orders and I made some, but I don't think I'll do that this year. I think I'm just going to lay with what I've got. And when they come and they come and get it, that's all I'm going to have. I also had uh, kitchen towels that were decorated for the holidays. They didn't even last three hours. I sold 35 of them in three hours. So I'm going to raise my prices on my towels just to squeak. And I'm going to up the game. This last year, I did HTV on cotton kitchen towels. The ones that uh, are potato sack ones. They call them well, flower sack. They call them flower sack um, ones from Walmart. This year, I'm going to up the game. I'm going to do sublimation. And I'm going to do it on 100% cotton towel, kitchen towels. And they're going to come out absolutely awesome. If you guys want to see that, let me know down in the comments down below. I know it has nothing to do with gnomes. But if you want to learn how to do sublimation and be able to do them on cotton towels and sell them at the craft fair. Now you don't even have to wait till Christmas time. But I have to wait till I get my sublimation printer and the sublimation printer that I found at Walmart was $199. Not bad. It's an Epson uh, EcoTank uh, 27. I want to say it's a, it, I want to say it's a 2750, but I'm not sure. But if you go to walmart.com at $199 and it's sublimation, you can actually make your own t-shirts, your own towels, your own anything, totes, whatever. So as soon as I get my sublimation printer, I'm going to start doing that. Now, if you guys want a tutorial on it, send me a comment down below. And when I get my sublimation printer, I will actually do a tutorial on it. And 
it's not hard. It, I'll even, if you want a tutorial on how to set it up, I could do a whole different video on that. You just let me know down in the comments if you want to see that. So I got some things coming in in the mail for our, my next video. Looking at my board, just got done doing the cones. My next one, I'm hoping will be here in the next few days. And it's all painting. So if you guys like to paint, just paint like with regular paints. Um, go ahead and hit that uh, notification bell and hit that subscribe button and you'll get notified when I upload my next video which is painting. And what am I going to be painting on? You gotta subscribe and you gotta hit that notification bell. And then you're going to find out what I'm going to be painting on. It's going to be gnomes. It'll be gnomes. But I'm not going to tell you what I'm painting on. You got to subscribe, you got to like, and you got to hit that notification bell, and you'll find out. And you can order these things also and sell them at the craft fair. So I appreciate each and every one of you guys. I feel very honored that you have come by and watched my video. And until next time, bye!